This is Dave. Hi, is this Dave? Yes, it is. Hi, hi Dave. Dean Quarter with uh, Eden Prairie Police yep. again. Um, this sounds much better. Thank you. Because um, I, I kept missing half of what you were saying on my end. Um, now, you're, you're out at your home in Victoria, right? Correct. Okay. Um, now, now tell me again. Now, you and and Mandy, um, boyfriend girlfriend for a while. Yeah, for a while. How, how long have you guys been uh, seeing each other, roughly? Uh, probably since last no, uh, two Novembers ago. Um, we've kind of been off and on this last 2013 since about December. Kind of just things haven't been the best. Um, yeah. Like I said, off and on. Okay, um, but but are, have you maintained a good relationship though? I mean, you're still seeing each other, and yeah, I mean, we talk every day. Um, we work. We we have a, uh, a somewhat of a business together, um, and that that was going well. Okay. Now now last night, it's it's my understanding that you came over to the house and, and, and I, I thought I heard you say that the two of you were not getting along so well. You were arguing last night? Correct. Um, I did go over, uh, picked her up, like you said, about 10.30, 11. Probably closer to 10.30. Um, okay. And that, that was at her mom and dad's house? Correct. Okay. And we went to uh, Miller Park. Um, just because I mean, it was kind of... Where, where were you at Miller Park? There's a, a number of different spots there. One of the first the first parking lot on the left. Okay, is that where they usually put out the dock? Or is that... No, the, no, 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 no. Uh, up off before the that, uh, the baseball field. There's the, the baseball softball field. area. Okay. But then there's the baseball side, and we were on the baseball side. On the baseball side. All right. Uh, is that where the structure is, the, the play structure is and stuff? Nope, it's before that. So if you're coming on Eden Prairie Road, you would be heading uh, north on Eden Prairie Road. Okay, head north on Eden Prairie Road. You take a left into Miller Park. Take a left into Miller Park. Is it, what what side of uh, Pioneer Trail is it on? County Road One. Uh, towards Highway Five, so the north side. Okay, it's on the north side. So you go Eden Prairie Road. You take a left on County. Road one, because I'm trying to think where where is there an entrance off of Eden Prairie Road into Miller Park? Um, I'm just trying to establish where you were. Right across from 212. Right across from 212. Is that by the old farmhouse there, where they have uh, monitors and stuff? What is it? Like Dunn Brothers? Um, I don't know. Is it Dunn Brothers? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, all right. So, so you go in there, and it's you go into Miller Park, and and where is it? The first parking lot on the left. First parking lot on the left. Okay, now I got you. Okay. Now, how far away is that from her house? I mean, if you were to walk home from there, what would be the most direct route? Eden Prairie Road. Eden Prairie Road? Yep. Okay. All right, so you picked her up. You're, you're, you're at the house. She gets into the car. Do you guys stay in the driveway for a while, or do you immediately leave to Miller Park? Um, we were in the driveway for a bit, um, and then we, yes, then we left to Miller Park. Okay. So, I mean, if I picked her up at, 10, say, 1030, probably... Three minutes later, we were on our way. If she was out at the car at 10:30, okay. so three minutes later, we were we All right. were on we our went way. directly to Miller Park. Correct. All right. Now I got gotcha. you. All right. And at Miller Park, did you guys get out of the car? Were you in the car the whole time? Were you talking? What? We're trying to work through What's that? things. What's that? I'm sorry. Um, once you got to Miller Park, what happened? Yep. Did because you were talking, trying to work through three, work through yep. some things, arguing, yep. whatever. Um, yeah. Was it just in the car? Yes, correct. Okay. Did you ever get outside, or just everything no. was in the car? Everything was in the car. Okay. 
and and you were there until she got out of the car about what time? I like said I got home a little after two. Well, I got back to my neighborhood a little after two. Okay. Um, so give me twenty minutes to drive home. One forty-five. Probably she got out of the car. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty-five ish. Okay, so one thirty to one forty-five ish. She got out of the car. Yeah. All right. Now, what happened in the car from the time you got there to the time she got out? Like I said, it started off we're just talking, trying to figure things out. Um, like I said, our, our relationship started getting in the way with the business side of things. Um, and in meeting our business, we we, we uh, are distributors for Herbalife, um, and we were <clears throat> kind of kind of team members of that. Um, okay. And so things started getting in a little bit of the way. Um, just wasn't making that go easily. So we talked about that for a while and how we could make that better. Um, and then kind of went into what was going on between her and I. Okay. And how did things go during that discussion? I mean, I'm trying to determine... Um, there were ups and downs. I mean, she was in. I mean... You know, there were times where we were both pretty calm, and there were times where we were both upset at each other. Um, so it kind of went up and down. It got heated at correct. times. Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, I mean, nothing out of control. Nothing out of control. No. Okay. Um, no, no physical I mean, violence or anything like that, that. No. No. Okay. No. All right. What about? Um, you know, as as, as far as uh, her state of mind when. Now, you know, she, you I mean, she was she mad when she left. She was, she was heated. Okay. I mean, she was mad. What, and why was she so mom. heated? What, what was the trigger that got her so heated that she got out of the car and walked away from you? I don't know. I mean, she just said, you know, you're annoying. You know, you just keep pushing. And so maybe I was a little, obviously, I guess I was a little too pushy. I mean, she, for the last week, we kind of been not that great. You know, she's, you know, tried talking to her, you know, leave me alone. All right, so I leave her alone for a while. Try talking to her again. You know, she'll talk to me a little bit. She'll call me. We'll talk. And then it's like, leave me alone again. And so I'm just confused. Um, talking to her. Um, and like I said, she just went off on that thing where, you know, you're annoying. And... And I just threw my hands up, and I just said, okay, fine, leave. And she got out and walked away, and, and, and she was walking for a while, and I, to be honest, I didn't think she was serious. All right. And so I followed her. I, I was driving alongside of her in my car. All right. With, you know, I had my window down. I'm saying, Mandy, stop. You know, just get in the car. I'll drive you home. Let's just, no, stop. And she didn't. She wanted nothing to do with me. You know, I told her mom, you know, she said, you know, just stop talking to me, leave me alone. And, and I mean, I could hear her dad in the background was just mad as hell at me because I let her, you know, let his daughter walk away. And, you know, she's arguing with the dad. You know, it's Mandy. I, I, I can see her doing that. Okay. And... And when Manny gets mad, she just doesn't want anything to do with anybody. Right. And I, there was nothing I could do. And right, so, so I just said, okay, fine. How far Call your brother at least. How far did you follow her? All the way to the to the intersection of, of Miller Park and Eden Prairie Road. And then she said, no, leave me alone. I'll call my brother. You know, I don't need you. And I turned around on Miller Park. Uh, in Miller Park and went down towards Dell and went from Dell onto 212 back to my place. Okay. So by the fire station. Okay, so at once you followed her up to Eden Prairie Road, you turned your car around and went back through Miller Park 
and out to Dell Road. Correct. Well, to Del, well, to the intersection of Miller Park and Dell Road, right where the fire station is, and I got on to 212. All right. And then from from there, you just went home to Victoria. Correct. I went into my new road. Okay. And uh, what, what time did you get home, roughly? Uh, like I said, I got back to my new road about a little after two. So I probably was following her, and and you know we were kind of arguing about getting in the car, not getting in the car for, I don't know, five or ten minutes. All right. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is, you know, we got people out looking for her, obviously. Um, yeah. but she didn't show up for work, and, uh, you know, I, I'm sure you're con very concerned about her as well. Um, we're we're we have just been looking all morning for her. You've been looking all morning for her? Where, where have you been yeah. looking? Just so we're not... Duplicating efforts yeah. here. I mean, just in the same area. What what area? Uh, Over by the park. <clears throat> yeah, over by her place, Miller Park. I mean, all the way to, to uh, Eden Prairie High School. Um, just looking. I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. Um, what, like what, her. what do you Doesn't think she did? Go. What do you I think she did? Because I mean, you know her pretty well. You you knew her state of mind. Do you have any idea uh, any friend's house that she may have gone to? No. <clears throat> I uh, <clears throat> I talked to her mom this morning. I said, "Is there any friends between <clears throat> you know Miller Park and your house?" that she would have gone to, and her mom said no. Okay. Um, as far as friends off the top of my head, no. Okay. All right. And that's a, Tell you what, a, um, a we're... Post. What's that? Dave, I, 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 I said you. that's... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's all right. I said that's, that's what worries me the most, okay. is that there's not a friend's house that she would have gone to. Okay, well, that that's our concern, too. And, uh, you know, she didn't have her cell phone with her, and, and we have no way of knowing, you know, getting a hold of her, obviously. And and uh, she didn't show up for work today, so there's there's obviously a lot of concern, a lot of a lot of concerned people, family members, um, you, us, you know, we're all trying to, to look for her. And, and then that's what we have to do. We have to find her. Uh, hopefully she'll contact us and say, hey, everything's okay, don't worry about me, and, and, and that'll be it. But uh, until we hear from her or, or until, you know, we find her, uh, we obviously have to keep looking for her. Now, yeah. I've got other uh, investigators out talking to other people, getting statements, you know, and then ultimately we're going to gather all these statements and try to, you know, figure out, you know, where could she could she be? Is there anything else we need to follow up on? Um, would it be possible for you to either come here or for me to come out there and get an interview with you and just get a taped statement? Uh, just a, I just need a chronological timeline of what happened last night, just kind of, you know, a brief overall description of what your relationship was, how long you've been together, basically everything you just told me over the phone. But I just need to get taped statement, and uh, we're doing the same with her parents and uh, anyone else that she would have had contact with in the last 24 hours. Okay. Okay. Would you prefer I come out there, or do you want to come here? Either well, way. When, when, when is best? Um, as soon as possible. This is, uh, you know, an active investigation. We're, we're, we're moving as fast as we can. So if I can come out there, that'd be great. Otherwise, you can come here. Um, I just yeah. don't know what state of mind you're in right now. No, I can. Uh, I can come to you guys. Okay. Do you know where we're located? Yeah, City Hall, right there at Eden Prairie Police Department. Yeah. Just come to the front desk and ask for me. It's Detective Quarter. So if you just think of the coin, twenty-five cent quarter. Yep. Uh, that's my name, but it's spelled differently. Okay. Okay. So just come to the front desk and ask for me. And uh, what kind of a time frame are you looking at? Would you be leaving real soon? Um. Yeah, I, I, I can. I mean. I can. Yeah, I have to. If if, if you would, the, the sooner the better. Okay, but you know, don't speed. <laughs> Drive the speed limit. Yeah, right. And uh, and we'll just get a, a, a tape statement from you, and uh, we'll try to put our heads together and see what we can come up with. Sounds good. Okay. All right. But but drive carefully. If you're not up to driving, I can come out and get you to, or I can do the interview out there. Whatever's best for you. No, I'm 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 all right. Thank you. 
All right. We'll see you when you get here. All right. All right. Bye.